Hi, Melanie Fine here of RocketGirls.com. I wanted to talk this week about the Intel ICEF Science Fair, the International Science and Engineering Fair, which began yesterday in Los Angeles. It happens once a year in the month of May, and this year it's in Los Angeles. I want to talk about how you two could be a competitor in the Intel Science Fair. It's really the creme de la creme of science fairs. So first of all, you need to be in high school. You need to be in grade 9 through 12, grades 9 through 12, and younger than 20 years old. To get admitted to the Intel Science Fair, you need to compete in a regional science fair first and, and be promoted on to the Intel Science Fair. To find a regional fair, uh, most of our local fairs are regional approved ICEF, International Science and Engineering Fair, um, affiliated fairs. Most of most of our local fairs are affi affiliated, but I have a link that I'll that I'll include in um, the post below that will tell you how to um, find a fair that is affiliated. So what you want to do is you want to register for that science fair first. Um, fairs are usually between January and March, and each affiliate affiliated fair has a contract with with ICEF with Intel determining the number of applicants that they can send on to ICEF. So you want to participate in one of those affiliated fairs first. Of course, to enter a fair, you need to submit a research product project. You need to do a research project. And of course, at the high school level, it's much different than the elementary or even middle school levels. So what I included also here is a link to get a checklist of what you need to complete before even submitting an entry to um, to even a regional fair, it's actually a checklist of what you need to do before you even start your research. So again, you want to go through this checklist at, at, at this site. I'll actually, you know what I'll do is I'll make a, a link on my website that has this information so you can just click on that. So you need to complete this checklist. And in the checklist, one of the things you need, need to do before you do research is you want to complete a research plan. A research plan includes the following parts. It includes the rationale, um, why you're doing the study, the research question or hypothesis, or if it's an engineering project, the engineering goal of your project, the procedures you're going to take, uh, the risk and safety um, precautions you're going to take, how you're going to analyze the data, and the bibliography of all the research, all the little literature research that you did leading you up to this point. I've got, I've got information on my website about how to do a literature research, and soon I'll make one on how to do a research plan as well. So you need to do all this before you even do your research because you need to get that research plan approved before entering your fair. And again, there's a link here that tells you how, how, um, what form to submit to get your research plan approved. Um, then you, once it gets approved, then you do your experimentation. After which, so you've already done your research plan and then you do the experiment, after which you submit an abstract summarizing your work and an abstract is a maximum 250 words so it's very very short it's a very very short abstract um, usually in a lot of science fairs in the regional local fairs they're going to ask you for a data book and a research paper as well but this is not required by ICEF though it's that's helpful for the judges to see what you've been doing and any of the signed forms certifications and permits have to be available for review at all of the affairs there are rules in each of these fairs about how you post your data how you post your research your research question and all the certifications and permits that you had to um, that you had to get in order to do this research a lot of times um, at the high school level students are doing research with faculty members at universities and that might be something you want to look into i talk a lot about how to find a mentor uh, for your research project and how to get involved in, in, in university research at the high school level in, in my coaching program. But, but you can do this on your own. Um, you just have to get all of your permits approved. There are special permits for human and, and animal experimentation that you have to take care of beforehand. And if you want to get all the information, you can go to Intel's website um, at society. Excuse me, at student.societyforscience.org forward slash Intel hyphen ICEF. And again, I will leave all these links. I will I'll make a page on my website and I will leave all these links for you. I will actually post that at the bottom of this video. So I hope you're interested in getting involved in science research. It's really being it's it's really cool to be on the forefront of knowledge, of learning things that that no one else knows and to and to 
dig in and, and be one of the leaders in your science field, especially as a high school student. I mean, then you get a real taste for science and decide is this something you want to do and it also excites you and gets you involved at a level that a regular high school science course can't get you involved at. Anyway, take a look at this video. I just saw this video. Thank you for watching this video. I really want you to take this seriously to think about what you could do at the high school level to do science as opposed to just study science. And if you want to find out how to be a rocket girl, then I urge you to download my free manual, How to Become a Rockstar Scientist, at scigirl.me. This is Melanie Fine of rocketgirls.com. Thank you for watching.